What's up, divas? What's up, Devo? So your girl April is back, and you already know it's time for a real talk video. So today I'm trying out something different. Um, I used some eyebrow gel. My daughter's at that because I want my eyebrows to stand up. Okay. However, you know the lighting in here makes the lighting on the camera look way different, and I'm thinking that I used a little bit too light of a brown on these brows, especially because I have no makeup on. So, just excuse the brows for this particular video. You know, it's a little trial and error type thing. But, you know, listen, I don't fuck or tweeze my brows anymore because I get tired of drawing them on. I did fill them in just a little bit. But for those days when you want to go outside and you don't want to go outside with half of a brow on, I just felt like it was best to let them grow back in. And that's what I've done. Now, there are some little sparse hairs, maybe like five or six right here. But, girl, I'm not about to tweeze them. I just concealed them real well when I put my makeup on, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, maybe during the commercial break, I'll come back with some darker brows, we shall see. But ladies, okay, let me zoom out a little bit because I feel like I'm in too close and you know my forehead is a little bit long, there we go. So yes, today I am rocking another headband, headband wig. This one is super short and it is from my peoples at my first wig okay 10 inches girl i wore it i did the video it looked really cute in the video probably because my face was made up and stuff but right now it looks you know simple and plain but let me tell y'all something i know a lot of you guys are tired of the headband wigs like me personally i can say i'm 50 50 with it like i love the headband wigs it, yeah it has carried on a little bit much but i will say this for this type of weather right now out here it's like 113 degrees right now this is perfect especially if you still want to look cute like you don't want anything glued on your forehead like let me tell you guys let me just tell you this last summer was a doozy for a girl like i did not wear any type of lace front wigs at all outside unless you see me in a video i was not going outside with nobody's lace front wigs on okay too hot too hot and definitely not trying to be bothered so i think like for those who cannot just weather the heat in the storm I think like these are really great headband wigs, half wig, headband wig, whatever can keep the hair off of your face is great, especially if you don't have to hairspray it down or glue it down. Now, if you can just put the wig on and go without any of that, then that's great too. But let's just keep in mind, you still going to get hot. So I'm kind of liking the fact that they're, they're, they're changeable. You know, you can have many different looks and I, I kind of, you, you guys know me. I don't really like really short hair. I'm, I've just never been, if it's going to be short for me, it has to be like short, short, you know, but this type of length, I wasn't really with, you know, like a couple of years ago, but I, you know something though, I will be honest and say this. Over time, we all change, you know what I'm saying? We all have a change of heart with things. We Our, our looks change, you know, our style of dressing changes, our makeup changes. And I'm going to be honest, I really actually do like this length. I mean, for God's sake, I'm the one that picked this length. But I really do like this length. And girl, I've been told all day yesterday that I look cute with it without any makeup. I didn't have no makeup on yesterday. So, yes. So, funny story real quick. I'm going to just get into this with you guys because I thought I would share this. So, you know, we have... So many different personalities and people in the world, okay? First, let me take a sip of this. Drink some wine. But we do have so many different people and personalities in the world. And, you know, I'm not really sure if this was a Karen that I met at Target or just, like, a regular person that was just out of her bounds. But I'm going to share this with you guys. So, Sunday, yesterday, because today's Monday. So by the time y'all see this, it would be Wednesday. Me and my grandson, Tinky, we, you know, we went to Target, the Target that I always go to, which is right across the street from his school. So that's the one that I drove to. And um, I went there to actually find this really cute tank top that I had purchased a few days prior. $5, girl. No, it was not on clearance. No, it was not on sale. Regular price. It just, it was really nice. One of those nice wide strap tank tops and had a nice deep plunging neckline. Really nice. Girl, I got it in a size medium. Had a nice stretch to it. You'll see it in the video, okay? And I got it in white. Now, mind you, I liked it so much that I wanted another one. Really nice tank top, like I said, and the normal price is $5. So when we went to Target yesterday, you know, now it does say mass required to enter. Some people do, some people don't. That's not, either way, I don't care. But there's a, you'll see why I say that. So, you know, you can't try on anything in Target anymore. But 
And I'm pretty sure you ladies have done this. I'm pretty sure everybody has done this. You know when you find something on the rack, clothes, and you really don't want to try it on, but you have the long body mirrors, and you just go and, you know, you, you put the shirt up to yourself. You know, you go with the shirt. We're just going to pretend this is the shirt. So you go and you just put the shirt or your dress or the pants up to yourself. You, you go like this in the mirror. You know what I mean? So this is me. I'm, I'm, I, I, find, I find some more of those tank tops. And it wasn't that I needed to know what size it was. I just wanted to see how the color looks. It was like a lime green, but not so bright. Like kind of like a mellowed out lime green. And this size was large. They didn't have any more mediums. Whatever. A girl really needed large anyway. But the medium looked good too. The medium fit perfect. So, you know, I wanted to see how the color would look against my skin because I had on another tank top. Anyway, it didn't even matter what kind of shirt I had on, but I actually had on this tank top, okay? So, was this one? No, it was this one in white. So, same size, same same everything, but it was white one. So, I'm in the Target and me and Tinky find a long, you know, body mirror. And there's a couple of them. And I got my mask on. Tinky's got his mask on. And I'm, I'm trying to see how this looks. So, you know, Tinky's on the left of me. And he got his little face semi in the mirror. And here I am. I'm putting the shirt up and I'm looking. Now, here I see a white lady. I, it don't even matter what color you are. But anyway, she walks by. She had to be, like, in her 60s. She could have been younger than that. I don't know. You know, my daughter says they age like like milk. So, anyway, I am... Um, I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm sizing up to myself, and here goes, we're going to just call her Karen. Here goes Karen. She didn't have a mask on. That's why I'm talking about the mask. She walks by, and she does one of those smiles, and I, I just gave her a blank look because now I'm seeing you. You're already in the mirror, but you're, like, smiling at me like a smirk, and then she puts her face. I'm, I'm still looking in the mirror now. I'm not even bothering with her. I'm looking, and I can see her face now on the right side of me in the mirror. So now at this point, I'm turning with the shirt still like this. And she's like, that's not going to fit. That's going to be tight on me. So at this point, I'm like, I have to pull my mask out. Excuse me? What? And what makes you think that? Because I already have a shirt in my size. So she goes to touch me. I said, get the fuck away from me and have a nice goddamn day. And so she looked at me like if I was saying something wrong. Have a nice goddamn day is what I had to say to her to, like, shoo her off. I didn't really want to go off on her because of my grandson, but, like, it didn't stop there. So she walks maybe, like, I want to say five feet away from me to look at the next rack. And at this moment, Tinky's looking at me like, what happened? And I'm just like, oh, my God. God damn. So she heard me, came back. I didn't mean to offend you. I said, first of all, you didn't offend me. Second of all, what y'all need to do is start learning how to mind your business. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all don't ever mind your business. The fuck? Now, go ahead. You're right. You're so right. You're so right. Thank you. Oh, you're right. You're right. Amen. First of all, what are we amen in? Maybe you need Jesus at this moment in time. Second of all, you're damn right I'm right. That was like the first moment in my life that I've ever had some type of strange person come up to me and tell me something ain't going to look good on me. Did I ask you your opinion? Like, it was so mind-boggling. Like, for real, you guys, I couldn't believe that this lady actually said to me, she came up to me, screwed her face up, turned her face up, and was like, it's not going to fit you. It's going to be tight. And when I asked her, excuse me, like, I, I figured, did you not... Did you think that I was asking your fucking opinion? And when she went out to, like, touch me, like, right in this area to try to show me where it's going to be tight, that's when I had to tell her to get the fuck away from me and have a nice goddamn day. Now, if somebody tells you to have a nice goddamn day, you just walk the fuck off, right? But she walked off, but she walked off and did roll her eye, too, as she walked off. It didn't matter to me whether you got an attitude or not, but the fact, the point of the matter is, did you really just come up to me in a goddamn store, I don't even know you from a hole in the wall, and tell me something's going to be tight on me? This lady had to weigh about 110 pounds, okay? Now, first of all, a little skinny woman, don't do that to me, okay? Second of all, let's just mind our business. That's the problem with people these days. They really don't know how to mind their business. So with that being said, I thought I would share that with you guys because it was crazy. And as I told the story to my daughter, Janae, she was at home. I had to FaceTime her and tell her, you know, um... I had to FaceTime somebody and tell them because I was really ready to go off. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be a better person and not even a better person. But I, I, I feel like I'm just trying to be a more calm and understanding person because I do know that there are a lot of ignorant ass people in the world. Like there's a lot of them. And sometimes people just can't help themselves. They can't help that they jump in other people's business. They can't help that they meddle in. They can't help that they toxic. They can't help that they liars and thieves. They can't help a lot of shit, which is unfortunate. And for me, I just be feeling like, you know, 
I can't let certain people just get to me like that. I can't allow them to allow myself to lower my, my, my character for no one. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to be a better person. And especially if my grandson is there, I really don't need to be belligerent in public. Now, mind you, I didn't have to tell her to get the F out of my face, but she, like, really caught me off guard with that because I've never in my life had anybody tell me, a strange person, that that's not going to fit you. It's going to be too tight. I just thought that was like, wow, lady, if you would have caught me maybe like a couple of months ago without my grandson, I might have smacked the shit out of you. I might have smacked you in your mouth. Who knows? Who knows what would happen? Even if I would have probably just gotten her face pointing my fingers at her, like my bestie just told me today, she probably would have cried harassment and that I am actually violating her and I almost poked her in the finger with my fingernails. When she found out about the story, she was like, girl, that's a Karen. And if you would have even said anything else to her, she might have been the prompt crying victim in Target. You know, Target seemed like... Target seemed like it's the place for a lot of Karens, okay? And it seems like... I've noticed a lot of videos on YouTube where they always seem to meddle in another person of ethnic groups' business. And it was just really mind-boggling to me that she would have even said that and thought that it was okay. Now, like I said, she looked like she was 60-something, but she could have been my age. Like my daughter said, they age like milk. However, would I have been in the wrong if I would have just got all up in her face? What if she would have really actually, like, she reached out and touched me somewhat? What if I would have just shoved the shit out of her? Would I have been wrong for that? I don't know, but that was the first experience in my knowledge, it might have been the first experience. I don't really have too many run-ins with Karens, you know what I mean? I'm the type of person where I'm going to just be stern with you, and that's that. And I'm not going to allow you any room to talk after I'm stern with you. When I say stern, meaning I'm stern, and that's that. I will treat you like one of my damn kids and send you on your way, okay? Mm -hmm. I had an amazing weekend. I did some work. I did a couple of videos. Today, I got to watch one of my favorite YouTubers. I, I actually was able to catch her live, and that was great. I enjoyed that. I don't really get to catch a lot of people on YouTube live, so I really enjoy her channel. Despite the things that people may say about her, you know, like, I'm, I'm kind of, like, over the whole reaction videos to other YouTubers. It's a, It's very toxic, and, you know, I just think sometimes we do a lot of toxic things out of boredom, you know what I'm saying? But then when you start understanding life and you understand yourself as a better person, you find that these type of reaction videos that are more or less bullying other people are very toxic, they're boring, and they're just humiliating to yourself and the other one. But I like to watch this young lady. I like to watch quite a few YouTubers. I'm all for support, and let's, at the end of the day, I'm a mother and a grandmother, so... I'm not about to be sitting out here bashing anyone. Now, mind you, I have my, I've had my toxic issues. I've had my toxic past. But once you, you know, you just got to find your inner self. You got to find your inner spirit. And a lot of times with that, when you're able to do that, you just get out of that negative world, like that negative shit. And like, there's, there's so much shit that's going on in my life right now. And it ain't even a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just say this. If you ever feel like you got to steal your kid's social security number, Okay, to file taxes, then you got a problem, especially when you don't take care of your kid. And I'm going to just leave it at that because you know who the fuck you are. All right. With that being said, I'm, I'm not going to allow nobody and they bullshit, toxic shit gets me. It's kind of like beneath me at this point. You know, sometimes we got to let the law take matters into their own hands instead of getting belligerent and out of bounds on camera or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You never let another person see when you're coming for them. You, you just don't. You know, especially when you got good intentions on coming for them, like good intentions on your end. Maybe not for them, but good for, for yourself. So, you know, I just try to stay away from a lot of the toxic shit. And a lot of shit that people might have to say about me or my family or anything like that, that's negative. Girl, please, bye. Because you're not paying none of my bills. You don't even take care of your kids. You don't even take care of me. You don't do anything. So why would I allow you and your thoughtless thoughts bother me? Not bothered at all. Definitely not. But I appreciate the view, honey. So, we're just going to get into this real talk real quick. Y'all already know the deal, what to do for the real talk. Make sure you hit a like, 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 likey like. Because I know, you know what I'm saying, it's free and it helps me. But 
You already know about the real talk. If you got a real talk issue, you want me to chop it up with you guys, send me an email to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. I make sure to post that in the subject or the description box below. And, you know, if you want to change your name for the real talk, then let me know in the email. But if you don't, girl, your name going to get changed anyway. That part I need to stop saying because your name going to get changed anyhow. But I thought I'd just put it out there. But, yeah, you guys, we're going to just get into this. Let's do it. Huh? 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 Mm. What? Mm. Damn. Mm. Mm. Ready, ready. So, good morning, Mrs. April. She said Mrs. April. Honey, it's just Miss April. Girl, you could just call me April, okay? Not married, wouldn't want to be. Thankfully, I'm divorced. Good morning, Miss April, Mrs. April, Miss April. Real quick, happy late Mother's Day. I'm going to remain nameless so she don't want to have a name. We're going to just call her Shannon. We're going to call her Shannon, okay? First name that came to my head. Anyways, so yesterday, Sunday, was Mother's Day, right? This was from last week. To celebrate my husband's side of my... <clears throat> to celebrate my husband's side of the family usually gets together and have a barbecue. Everyone gets together. My husband has two younger sisters and an older brother. So I have three sister-in-laws and an older brother. Yesterday at this barbecue, when the older brother gets there with his family, all the sister-in-laws sit together at one table except me, which was cool at first. But girl, they hung out all night and chatted up the night away about upcoming family parties. LOL. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that they made it obvious that they don't vibe with me. I could have pulled up a chair, but they could have offered me a chair. Mrs. April, it was like a mean girl scene. Ha ha, I was alone. I honestly feel like those girls have a better connection with each other. I noticed they get together more often. Even when we were all pregnant at the same time, they would gift each other things and exclude me. I don't want to be included in everything they do, but we are a family. Like, we should be able to have a good relationship. I've had this feeling for a while now, and last night just made it clear we're just different. And to top that off, my mother recently passed, so Mother's Day wasn't the best day to feel like shit. My question is, should I stop hanging around his family at those get-togethers? I end up being on my phone the whole time when I could be spending my time somewhere else. Or am I being petty? And it's not that deep. Girl, listen, let me tell you something. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so Shannon here, because that's her name, Shannon says that basically Shannon went to her husband's get together, her husband's family's get together for Mother's Day. All right, he has two younger sisters and an older brother. So basically, she has two sister in laws. So her, his older brother has a wife, and he came there with his family. So that's what she means she has three sister in laws. So all together, she has three sister in laws. The, the, the brother is married, so that would make three sister in laws. When the older brother gets there with his family, all of the sister in laws sit together. So now we have the, the three sister in laws, her three sister in laws basically sitting together. And they're all at the table together. You know, except for her. She said they, they hung out all night and was cackling it up and chatting it up and things of that nature and talking about the family upcoming parties. She said she could have pulled up a chair, but they could have also offered a chair. You know what I'm saying? Um, they don't include her. They exclude her. They get each other things. They were all pregnant at the same time. They basically pass her, bypass her like a, like a speeding ticket or whatever you want to call it. They just basically don't pay her no mind at all. All right? And to top it off, you know, Mother's Day ain't the best day for her because unfortunately her mother passed and I and I am so sorry to hear that um yeah she said that the whole time that she was at this gathering she was on her phone instead she could have just basically been elsewhere girl you could have stayed at home for all that sitting on your phone is she being petty you know or not now Shannon here's the thing let me just say this let me just let me take a sip of this okay because I'm gonna try to be real grown about this sometimes family ain't your family it don't matter if it's his family it could be your own blood family sometimes they just not your family and I'm gonna just say this I ain't had the best of luck with no fucking in-laws that I've ever known especially sisters okay you can have a good in-law and you can have a bad in-law my thing is this I'm not going to force myself upon nobody if you don't like me, then that's okay. If you don't want to welcome me into the family, that's okay too. Because 
at the end of the day, who are you there for? You're there for the support of your husband, okay? And maybe even to support your mother-in-law and say happy Mother's Day. You can still be, you know, grown and hello to your sister-in-laws, hello to your in-laws in general. You don't have to feel like you need them to offer you to pull up a chair. Now, Shannon, they could have been thinking the same thing about you too. Why she ain't pull up a chair? Well, she thinks she's too good for us. Because this is what happens. This is what happens. Have they ever said they don't like you? Have they ever said they, they don't want you in a family? Have they ever said don't pull up a chair, Shannon? Okay? Now, sometimes we also send off the wrong signals as people in general. You know? You can have been standoffish. And sometimes when you're a little bit standoffish, some people get that bad energy from you. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Like, you could have been standing up against the wall. How about this? I'll give this one for example. You ever you ever be out in public? Now, I know this has happened to me plenty of times. I'm walking around. I don't have a frown on my face, but I'm definitely not going to walk around like this all day and walk around. You know what I'm saying? Like, who walks around like this? You might think I'm crazy, but I have gotten many people say, won't you smile? It ain't that bad. What makes you think that is bad at all? Why would I walk around like this? First of all, my face is gonna start hurting. But just because I'm walking around with a straight face does not mean anything's wrong, doesn't mean anything's bad. You're just getting missed signals, okay? You getting the wrong impression about me. You don't even know me that well to even say something like that. And the same thing could be going on with your sister-in-law. Maybe they're not saying, Shannon, pull up a chair, because you might also be giving them missed signals. You might be standing there with a frown on your face and you don't even realize it. You might be looking kind of blank and not wanting to be bothered, and you don't even realize it. But sometimes people get missed signals and they get the wrong idea. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's not the reason why, maybe that's the reason why they didn't say, hey, Shannon, pull up a chair. But also, why wait for someone to tell you to pull up a chair? Girl, don't let, don't ever, don't ever wait for someone to tell you to have a seat and pull up a chair. If you wanna be part of something, then you invite your motherfucking self to that party, okay? If you wanna be a part of that chat, that group, you invite yourself to that chat, that group. You don't wait for nobody to invite you to shit, you know what I mean? Like, seriously, you gonna sit there and tell, and, and you gonna sit there on your phone. This, this is how I feel. It's not being petty, okay? Because petty is on a different level. This is how I feel. But you over there on your phone, Shannon, and you 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 angry looking on the internet, you angry looking on social media. And when I say angry, you not, may not be angry like that, but you stewing in your own juices. Meanwhile, you allowing them to make you upset because you weren't invited to sit with the crowd. Meanwhile, when your brother-in-law's wife came on scene, did they say, hey girl, pull up a chair, have a seat? No. I guarantee you they didn't. You didn't say they did, okay? She probably walked her ass over there. And that's what you do at a family gathering. You don't wait for people to say, hey, girl, what you doing over there? Because if you keep waiting, you're going to just keep waiting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A closed mouth don't get fed. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you want something to take place, if you want something to happen, a closed mouth ain't going to get fed. Now, them girls, them three young ladies, they could have been sitting over there talking about you. Like, what's wrong with her? Why she act like she don't want to be bothered with us? What she don't like us? Why she don't come over here? Maybe she don't want to be bothered with us. So the same thing that you thinking about them, they could be thinking about you. They could be thinking you feel that same way about them. And now we got all this miscommunication, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and misdirections all for, no, for nothing. For nothing. It's Mother's Day. Sometimes, you know what? We gotta let we gotta let that shit go. Let that toxic shit go. Let that hatred go. Let that animosity go. You know, maybe they're getting those miscommunication vibes from you, cause you might seem a little standoffish. You feel me? And maybe that's why they they don't include you. Sometimes, girl, you gotta include yourself to shit. But I will say this: we don't have to kiss nobody ass in law, law blood, whatever. If you don't want to be bothered with me, that's fine too. I don't need anyone to be bothered with me. I ain't gonna stop breathing. But if you feel that out of place and that uncomfortable, then maybe it's in your best interest to not go to a lot of these family functions. However, if you are married and you love your husband, maybe you should have a talk with him. But sometimes that don't even work. You gotta pull up those big drawers, those big girl drawers, and be a, a big girl, a, a woman, and approach the situation yourself, you know? They may not have any harsh feelings towards you, but it might be the way that you go about things. 
the way you stand off it. That's how I see it. Like, I can't really fault them for not inviting you over and pull up a chair because you also said in this email, you could have pulled up a chair. So if you could have pulled up a chair, Shannon, why didn't you? Like straight up, why didn't you? What's, what was stopping you? Me personally, I'm gonna just say this. I, like I said, I haven't had no good experiences with no sister-in-laws okay or anything like that and that's fine I don't I don't really give two fucks about that because I'm not here to please your in-laws that's not what I'm here for if you don't like me that's great sometimes I like for people not to like me because that means you won't fucking bother me at all okay you won't come the fuck over you won't call my motherfucking phone you won't invite yourself to nothing you just won't bother with me and I'm cool with that you know what I'm saying however if we had a family function and I feel some type of way like I'm not a part of something girl listen I will I will invite myself over to the conversation Look, I do that in a store too, okay? Not like that, like that, like that, but you know, if someone asks me for my opinion, okay, not like the Target lady, but if someone asks me for my opinion in the store about something, I would more than gladly give it to them and definitely in a nice way. I'm never rude to anyone, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to include yourself. I notice me, you know what I'm saying? I'm more or less like an introvert person and I've come out a little bit out of my shell. Like with me, you know, I like to go out and when I go out to the stores, I talk to all types of people because that's just me. I'm a, I'm a friendly person and I just like to talk to people. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like you jumping out of the woodworks on me, but I enjoy people. I enjoy people's conversations and you never know who you're going to meet. You could be good friends with them. But with me, I don't, I'm, I'm not like, like I said, I'm an introvert person. So I really don't do like a lot of family gatherings outside of my own family. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm cool with my own family. And that's that. I don't go to parties or anything like that. That's just not me. I'd rather just keep to myself and do my own thing. But I have been in situations like she stated where I felt very uncomfortable and it doesn't, it wasn't with family, but just at gatherings in general. And I have found myself either on my phone or just sitting quietly. And what did I do? I, I, I excluded myself for the whole situation and just took my ass home. You know what I'm saying? But in her situation, it wasn't possible. But I just feel like sometimes we take things a little bit too far and we might feel like this person doesn't like us or this person feels one type of way towards us when it's not even them. It could be us and we don't even realize. We could be giving off bad vibes. We could be giving off, you know what I'm saying, miscommunication. These three in-law sisters of you or Shannon, they might really want to get to know you, but you're not allowing them to. Just because y'all was pregnant together doesn't mean that y'all supposed to be besties and y'all supposed to have something in common. Now, the part about them gifting each other things, you know what I'm saying? Maybe because their communication is better than what you have with them. Sometimes you got to step out of your shell and not be so standoffish towards people and wait and stop waiting for them to invite you into their world. You know what I'm saying? Because let's get it straight. These two sisters... The two sisters, not the not your three in-laws, but the two sisters who are originally sisters to your husband, they are family. So of course, they are definitely going to be together, cackling and chatting it up because they were born together, they were raised together. That's a given, okay? But you don't really know the brother's wife's relationship with them. You you really don't know, and it could be something totally different. Listen, I don't say bad things about in-laws and I'm not gonna say good things about them. Like I said, I haven't had the best experience with them in general, okay? And that's straight up, no chasing. I will say this, I ain't about to lick nobody's boots. I'm about to, I am about ain't about to kiss nobody's ass. I ain't about to brown nose for you to like me either. I don't give a fuck if you're an in-law, a cousin, a bestie, or whatever, okay? A husband, a boyfriend, I, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not about to kiss your ass to include me in a situation, but, what I will do is I will include myself and that's how I will get my vibes to see if you like me or not. That's all you need to do, Shannon. It's just to include yourself. Don't speculate what might not be so, you know? You could have stayed home, you're right. However, I just think in Shannon's case, Mother's Day was not the best day for her and I get that and I totally get that. And that for one right there might've put you and set you off in a bad mood. And I get that, you are entitled to that. Let's not let the negativity get to us because what you feel is negative or what you may feel might not just be. You understand what I'm saying? Include yourself. Don't be standoffish. Don't say, well, I could have just stayed at home because I guarantee you, girl, if you would have pulled up the chair, I bet you they would have welcomed you with open arms. Because you never said anything about them ever being nasty to you. You never said they were ever rude to you. What you did say was they didn't include, they did not include you in the gift giving. And sometimes people don't include you in things because your communication skills may not be that great. You may not call them. You may not text them. You may not just, you know, reach out to them. 
And if you don't reach out to me, you don't keep in communication with me, what makes you think I want to send you a gift? Like, let's be for real, okay? If you knew you could have pulled up a chair, girl, why didn't you? Hmm? What's wrong with that? The worst they could have said was, girl, we don't want you sitting in our circle. What, what was so mean girl circle about it? Because you just say it was like a mean girl circle. How was that so? Were they in a circle, all three of them sitting there laughing and then looking back at you and rolling their eyes? Now, if they had done that, I'm pretty sure you would have mentioned it in the email, okay? And I doubt they would have done that because these are grown women. And I'm pretty sure they're not there to ruin their mother's mother's day because of you. So you should have pulled up a chair and invited yourself into the chat and in the cackling and the hee hee hee. This sometimes, this, this phone, sometimes that shit could definitely be a problem. And I guarantee you, if you didn't have no phone, if we didn't have phones on us, we wouldn't be so busy with our face inside of them. We would be more interactive with people. You know what I'm saying? We would be more sociable with people. Instead, when we go to events like family reunions, movies, dinners, everybody's always on their phone. Like, you can do that outside of this. What, what is so important in this fucking gadget that can't wait? Like, let's, I mean, if you got a check that you got to sign for a million dollars, I could see that. I could understand that. But at a family gathering, this should only come out unless you're ready to take some pictures of the family or record a little short video. Other than that, I don't think people should be on their phone. It's called family gathering. And if you're on your phone the whole time, at this family gathering, why would they invite you over to the circle, girl? They might think that you was just too busy for them. Why would they invite you over to the circle? Let's be for real. Shannon, take that into consideration. It might not be them. It might be you. And it might be them and you. Because you both seem like, you all seem like you guys are giving off miscommunication, missignals. signals. It's all about missignals signals here, okay? Don't take everything so to heart, all right? Let's not take everything to heart. These same, these same women that were sitting in that circle, they might have been waiting for you to come over and join the circle. You never know. You never know. You're know saying sometimes you got to include yourself. Invite yourself to the motherfucking party, whether nobody don't want you to be there or not. That's how you get the real vibes. That's how you figure out if they really like your ass or not. You'll see when they look at you crazy. And once they do that, girl, then you already know. But if wasn't nobody giving you no side eye, and if they did speak to you, because I'm pretty sure they did speak to you, then girl, give them a shot. It's family. I'm not saying kiss nobody ass, girl. But listen, we all got one life to live. And let's not be so toxic to everybody. It's not even worth it. Sometimes, let me tell you, there are some people in this world that I really cannot stand. Okay? <laughs> There's just like two of them. Okay? But let me tell you something. Do you think I'm about to lose any sleep? Do you think I'm about to lose my mind? Do you think I'm about to allow them to stress me the fuck out because I don't like them and care for them that much? Definitely not. Don't care to. Who gives a fuck? If I don't like you and you don't like me, great. Good. Kudos to you. Woohoo! If you don't ever want to speak to me again in life, that's great. Maybe I don't want to speak to you again in life. But I guarantee you, your toxic ass stuff, I'm not going to allow you to get to me. You know what I'm saying? In law or not. Okay, so in 2021, you guys, and far beyond that, we should just take a lot of things into consideration. Sometimes we got to invite our motherfucking selves to the party. Look, you see lots of people inviting themselves to the parties, okay? Sometimes they call party crashers, all right? That's how we know they invite themselves to the party. Don't take people as so negative always, you know, because that energy that you they giving off, that you think they're giving off, might be coming off because you're giving the wrong energy. So pull up a seat, girl. Let's pull up a motherfucking chair, for real. Let's let Shannon know what y'all would have did in this case. Girl, I'm going to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find me something to eat. Would y'all pull up a chair? Would y'all invite yourself to the party? Like, what would you do? Or would you just sit in the corner like a wall fall? I'll pull up a motherfucking chair. You know why? If you, invite, if you invite me somewhere, I'm not going to show out, but I'm going to show up. And I'm going to be interactive and sociable because that's what I'm there for. I'm going to have a good time. But also, if I feel you don't like me, that give me even more ammunition to want to talk to you because I really want to feel and know for a fact if you don't like me or not. Straight up, facts. If you don't like me or not, point blank, period. Okay. I mean, yeah, the word period is a cute word, but y'all will use it for anything. Let me give y'all a few examples. Oh my god, I just got pulled over. Oh my god, period queen, bitch, fuck the law. Bitch, oh my god, my dog just died. What am I gonna do? Oh my god, period, bitch, purr, like, oh my god, fuck that dog. Eh, put that bitch down. Girl, I just found out my mom has cancer. Oh my god, she's a cancer? I'm a Leo. Tee -hee -hee. Period queen. Like, okay, like, oh my god. <laughs>